Hello! Happy holidays, and I hope the new year finds you well. So, for the past two months, I've been working on a Christmas gift for everyone. You'll see why it took that long in a bit. In the meantime, consider this Christmas gift part one. It's three microtonic kit presets. Dun, dun, dun. Plus, uh, pocket operator PO32 tonic transfer files. So if you have one of those, you can transfer them and should be nice. As usual, these are Creative Commons CC0. Please treat them like public domain. And all right, let's give each kid a listen and then I'll talk about them. Here's 1A. 1B. 2A. 2B. 3A. 3B. So something's playing while I'm talking. So these kits have A and B parts, as you've noticed, and that's for pocket operator use. Any kit A will occupy spots 1 through 8, and kit B will be spots 9 through 16. Kit 1A was made to work best with kit 1B, and kit 2A with 2B, and so on but nothing's stopping you from mixing and matching A and B parts between kits. So if you want 1A and 2B, I don't know how it'll sound, but try it out. I'll include the data transfer sounds in the description for transferring it to the pocket operator, as well as at the end of this video. You'll also notice I have some dithering going on on the mastering here. That's shaping the sound a bit, but not very much. I'm also panning the drums, a little bit, indicated by the pinkish tracks, so these ones. No other processing, but I think they work well with effects too. Let's turn on some reverb to add a bit of depth. Yeah, I think that sounds nice. A little pre-delay, a little damping, EQ cut. Small high pass, and then some stereo width that tapers off to mono. I don't know why I'm so fussy with reverb, but there you go. Oh, and I dropped it negative 16 dB. There's my limiter. All right. So kit one. Let's go back to that. Yeah, this is a tried and true kit that I used as my default PO32 kit for years. If it sounds in any way familiar, that's because it's the kit I used in the Hatchet Shrimp Eyes track that I've uploaded on YouTube. Kit 2 was made to be. Oh, the volume. This was made to be an electro acoustic style kit. I'm obsessed with drum machines that try to sound like an acoustic drum kit but don't quite nail it. Things like the Sound Master Rhythm SR88 or the Pearl Syncussion SY1. Also the Boss 660. Sorry, Boss DR. 660, which uses samples but is lo-fi enough that I think it has its own sound. Yeah, this is closer to the DR660. And then kit 3 is really weird. This first half is 
very loud, and the second half is soft. This one is meant to work well with distortion, so you can do industrial sounds. I'll load that up really quick. Shape 2. This is going to be loud. Okay, you get the idea. And so, what would be the polar opposite of that? This. The second half was meant to sound a little bit like a Wurlitzer Sideman or the Roland CR-78. I just really dig that soft, like, artificial bossa nova sound from those. So. Yeah, I thought the dynamic pairing was funny. If you can't decide between industrial or bossa nova, there you go. Okay. So, drop this a little bit. Wrapping this up, I want to mention part two of this present. That's going to come in a separate video, but I recorded samples of all of these, so you can use them even if you don't have a microtonic or a PO32. And then I did variations of those samples a lot of variations. It's, a uh, 962 samples. Yeah. I may have gone overboard. Kits 1 through 3 have a tuned folder with kicks tuned chromatically for at least an octave in Melodyne. And then the Marantz Standard Tape Kit has tuned kicks as well. Yeah, there's a tape kit. Actually, two. I ran these to cassette on two different tape decks. We're talking light saturation, then recorded with outright distortion, and then even tape monitoring, which is the sound recording on the deck before it hits the tape. And that's kind of just scratching the surface of the variations I did. We'll get into it in a part two video, but the link is down below if you want it. You can drop the whole tonic drums folder onto the M8 tracker and it'll load up fine. They're WAV files at 96 kilohertz to allow for time stretching, so it should work for most samplers. Anyway, enjoy and take care. The PO32 transfer files are loud and annoying, so if you don't need them, please pause and end the video now. Playing all the transfer files in three, two, one.